say a house move is one of the most stressful things you can do in life. But from my experience, I don't completely agree. It's a big change, sure. There's a turbulent mix of emotions and they do always seem to end up pretty manic. But on the whole, I've always found them quite inspiring. First heavy, heavy thunderstorm of the year. Really, really exciting. I love it. Amazing. It's really mild, so it's comfortable outside, but just every few seconds there's a, whoa, another big uh, crack of lightning. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Life is short and I think you've got to embrace change. But I'd be lying if I said we weren't nervous. There's no house we're moving into. Instead, on the horizon is a dream we've waited nearly a decade for. But it's one of those all-encompassing dreams that starts with colossal change and permanent goodbyes. This spring had always been our leaving date. Winter clung on, but we knew spring would eventually come, bringing new life and really big changes. Surrounded by nature and so connected to the seasons, you find beauty in these temporary moments, knowing they'll eventually pass. We stumbled upon this place 18 months ago, when we were houseless and needed somewhere to wait for a hospital operation. It was always meant to be temporary and we weren't meant to get attached, though admittedly that went out the window very quickly. Our final month came and it felt like we'd only scratched the surface of the Lake District. It's hard leaving knowing there are so many plans that will be left undone and so many special places that will remain unexplored. But. That's one of the beauties of the lakes. There will always be mystery and intrigue in these surroundings and so many reasons to return. And with just a few weeks left, we lean into the change. Adventure preparation. It's gotta go. This is not suitable for summer cycling. What do you think? I like it, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we've got to the last few weeks of us being here, which is a really crazy mix of feelings. We've, we've been here just over a year and a half, mm -hmm. but it's really become, you know, our a home. home. Yeah. We've really kind of, it's, we've never felt so attached to a place before. Yeah. And uh, I think especially at this time of year when we've got through winter and it's sort of really feeling quite summery. <laughs> Without a car and with no public transport, these bikes made this cottage possible. Everything we've experienced here in the last 18 months, we've experienced on these two wheels. And so to say we've grown attached would be a big, big understatement. Don't eat them. <laughs> so we've just come back from a cycle and mm -hmm. we had no idea that was going to be the last cycle. No, I we've, feel like I would have... Um, with Trevor. Yeah, would have made more of a... Monumental last cycle. I just would have been like savoured it a bit more maybe, but I don't know what I would have done differently. So I think because we don't drive and because we spend so much time on our bikes as well. So like now I, I don't have a bike and that feels a bit weird. I've never not been with a bike. So for example, when we got Trev, there was a crossover with the bike I had before, Roger. So I was never bikeless. There was actually a period where I had two bikes technically. And I think being so remote as well, I do feel suddenly a little bit trapped almost because 
there isn't that option just for me to get my bike and cycle places. And yes, we have Josh's bike, but it's huge for me. That is absolutely mad. He won't be happy with me tampering with his seat every time I fancy going for a ride. So, Coddy and Mompel will be coming soon. I don't know if you said that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's changing. Yeah, I feel a bit sad. There's a lot of change with the bike going and it's just very real that we're leaving here and we're leaving this one. Shabba and Natty, these once feral kittens, quickly became an integral part of this home. Just a few tiny squeaks in the garden we became foster parents and this happy family somehow spawned out of nowhere. We had to work hard with them, but our journey together made it even more Go special. On, Go on. We both knew they'd be spoiled rotten with their new family, but it was still tough knowing this would be our last weeks together. We'd be dropping them off in the removal van, which made the moving day all the more daunting. We give away belongings, quit jobs and sell a joint business. Like we're surrounded by boxes, we're moving out from from uh, this place which come at home in the middle of the Lake District. Yeah. We're about to be leaving the country. Like it's great that it's selling, but I do kind of wish it wasn't right this week, or maybe like the week earlier or next week, but yeah, it's, just it's happening. A lot of big, crazy life changes. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna press accept offer. Yeah. Confirm acceptance. By accepting this offer, you agree to sell your website to dot 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 for dot, 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 money dot. to cycle around the world. Accept offer. These last moments in the cottage seem to fly by. My logical brain is telling me everything is in your hands and on the horizon is this dream trip you've waited nearly a decade for. There shouldn't be any sadness. But then Sarah reminds me we are human beings after all. And being sad is a sign of how beautiful this chapter has been. And now is the time to pack it all away. <laughs> Yesterday we cleaned the kitchen really thoroughly. We really, really thoroughly. threw loads and loads of just old, you know, got rid of loads of bits and bobs. We've got to do some stuff outside. We're doing some gardening. It's really raining right the now. The weather's pretty wild, so we're going to try and time all the. Hopefully, we have a wind weather window a bit later. There's, there's one. Huh? There's one. Huh? Come here. And then we go to our neighbours for our last drink. Yeah. And our neighbours have meant a hell of a lot to us since we've been here. Yeah. We've been really close to them because we haven't got many neighbours here because it's quite remote. We've got one. Yes, yeah, so we've become very, very close with them. They're really, really lovely. So we're really yeah. going to miss being in such close proximity. So yeah, going to see them for one last time. Yeah. We get cracking? Yeah, let's get cracking. Yeah. Together we have filled life with movement, finding home in each other rather than in temporary locations or communities. But here we let our guard down, and although leaving is hard, we don't regret it. Soon life will go onto our bikes, we'll pedal into the unknown and let curiosity lead us around the globe. But for now, we cherish our final days here, settled, comfortable and connected. So we're currently in the chaos stage of the packing where we're doing loads of things, we're getting rid of loads of stuff, but 
it just, nothing seems to be reducing in the house. I don't understand how it's quite working. But I'm hoping once we've got through this little section, the chaos section will be behind us. All guns blazing. Guns blazing. Got a shovel in there. Getting there. Getting there. This place has been absolutely amazing. We've never lived anywhere like this. And yeah. I think the whole thing of us leaving is that we don't know that we'd ever, you know, within, yeah, so within like this, this budget, yeah. be able to find somewhere like this again. Um, but that, when we, as we're packing the home down and it's, it has really felt like home, but I don't, without sounding like cliche, it's like, I don't think home is like a building. Do you know what I mean? It's a thing. Yeah. That, it's the, the stuff you create within that is, it's us sharing it, it's all the memories we have and that, it kind of makes me feel, you know, much happier about moving on from places because it's like we will, we will create another home, mm. and our tent will become a home. You welcome my, my brother, uh, driver that we're very grateful for. Fucking day. First box. House is really empty. It feels really strange because we filled it. It was really. It's now a house again. It doesn't feel like a like our home. Cats uh, know something's going on. Um, yeah, this, this day's always seemed like somewhere, something really far off in the distance, and it's finally come around. And, and we know it's come around because we're about to do something incredible, but at the same time, you, you just have all these so many flashes of memories, incredible memories of all the stuff we've done here. Um, it's really a place which is has changed our life, like completely changed our outlook on life. Um, never thought we'd live somewhere remote, it wasn't anywhere that we'd planned. It was really hard to begin with, but then we just found so many beauties in it and it became really natural and um, it's been an incredible experience and now we've got a big, big adventure, a world to cycle and can't wait to hit the road now and see where it takes us. And to take you guys along for the journey too. So thank you very much for following all of our rides and our cycles and our journey. It's been really beautiful getting to know you guys and um, having your support really means the world to us. So thank you very much. Ready? Ready. Bye, house. <laughs>